you have got all the permissions to watch the video till the end. Hello and welcome back. I am Samaira, the anchor come moderator for this video, which is on role based permissions. Most of the time, this is abbreviated as RBPs. The video is intended to the security admins and trust me, this is one of those important subjects which can offer you a huge money making job. By the end of the video, you should have a fair idea on the purpose of RBPs, the terminology and the elements being used in the entire RBP. The difference between the groups being used and you should also know the way the RBPs are designed in the system. Before I turn over to our presenter, Mr. Muhammad Ali, I request you to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon to receive notifications and follow us on social platform as well. Thank you. Over to you, Ali. Thank you, Samara. That was a nice attempt. Okay, so dear viewer, uh, Samara heads our marketing and uh, I'm your host, Muhammad Ali from InfoBracket. First of very all, uh, let me write these three words here. Who? What? And whom? Right here on top of the screen and I hope uh, these will bring me <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Um, I'm just kidding. Uh, I believe luck is for the people who don't strive. Well, uh, this video is on road-based permissions and uh, rightly said by Samara that these are often abbreviated as RBP. And uh, what is it? What is an RBP? The question arises is what is RBP, right? Well, the security administration in success factors is termed as the role based permissions. Now, what it does is it uh, basically provides the authorization to run and uh, execute the processes, the admins or say the users are responsible for uh, say for example if i am uh, an employee who belongs to the hr department and uh, one of my job descriptions is to do the payroll okay so when i log in into the system and when i execute the payroll how am i doing that okay so the system is allowing me to execute the payroll because the payroll execution role is assigned to my id right so this is happening via the rbp via rbp i get the authorization and the access uh, to all the elements needed to execute the payroll okay so uh, the entire RBP, in fact, uh, there are mere two elements uh, using which the entire RBP of a company can be designed, the groups and the roles. And further, the groups are categorized as the granted group. Okay. So at times the granted group is also called as the source group. But I say it as granted group only. And the other group is called as the target group. Okay. So one is the granted group while the other one is the target group. And to explain which, I may have to switch over to the spreadsheet. Say there are two people, MA and 
MB who are responsible to run the payroll of all the employees who belong to unit one of an organization. So these are the two people who are responsible to execute or say to run the payroll of all the employees who belong to unit one of an organization. So here basically what happens is this will be group one. MA and MB will form one group and all the employees of unit one will form one more group. Okay, so how do we understand this is the permission to execute the payroll is granted to this group, which means that this will be our granted group of all the employees of unit one, which is our target group. Okay, so this is our granted group. This is our target group and this is our role. If I have to give you one more example, say if there are two other employees, AA and AB, who are responsible to do the payroll of all the employees of unit two of an organization. So AA and AB will form one group, which is our granted group, and all the employees of unit two will form the other group which is our target group but the role still remains the same there shall be only one role which means now how this works is the permission of running the payroll is granted to this group of the target group which is this group now if i have to go back to my those three lucky words now you will get to know why i had written those three words there basically it is who do what to whom so these are the people who are who and what they do is they run the payroll and to whom they do is to the target group so this is how i have made it easy to understand who what whom who do what to whom is the thumb rule we have to follow when we are creating the rbps and uh, speaking about the roles there are a lot of standard roles readily being delivered by sap which uh, you can make use of they come straight out of the box and uh, if you want to know uh, more about them then you can go to help.sap.com and if you want to know all the standard roles then just in the search box key in list of role based permissions with the enter key and this is the very first link that we get is the list of all the standard roles that come out of the box straight away so these are all those roles which sap delivers and uh, there is a lot to read on rbps as well and if you ask me uh, i would suggest you to read uh, sap success factors admin center coming from sap press which is authored by venki krishnamurthy one of my uh, favorite authors in fact uh, you will also get much details in module 2 of thr 80 unit 1 lesson 1 which is termed as permissions now let's go to the system and try creating the rbps so first what we do is we create the groups and to create the groups we go to manage permission groups so we come here and we have a create new button over here click on the button the system opens a new window here we name the group say i'm naming it as ma underscore us unit one let this be my name and down here 
you see two windows one is kind of green the other one is a little pinkish so green is to add the people to the group while the pink one is say if we want to exclude any of those people from the group how we do that i'll i'll show you now so what we do is we click here to pick any of these categories the success factors gives us so many categories for example the citizenship the city country and we have so many of them date of birth date of position department likewise there are many so here let me select the department and in department i am selecting human resources us there should be this department i select this and i say done now we have this active membership window over here if i update this this should give me the number of employees who are in this department if i click on this number it should produce the list of all those employees who belong to that department there are 19 of them and these are those 19 employees i close this and then i come over here it says add another category so if i click on this this will give me one more option to add the category we are in the same people pool and we have already added department as one of the categories and if we want to add one more category we can do that now how this works is if you know about the operations this works as an and operation what we are doing here is we are picking the employees of this department and any of the other categories say if i am to select the category as location and say san francisco is what i'm selecting there are two san francisco all right we'll add both of them and then so this 19 number includes all the people who belong to this department now if i update this the number will change and it will give me the list of employees who belong to this department and to the location as san francisco let me update this so it reduces the number to six which means there are only six employees who belong to san francisco as the location now this works as an and operation but if you want a or operation what we do is we have an option to add another people pool we click on that it opens one more people pool similarly again it gives us an option to add one more people pool i click on that and it gives me the third people pool but after that the system is not allowing me to add one more people pool which means that maximum we can add three people pool and not more than that i'll delete these people pool because we are not using i'll go back to these six people so these are the six people again you can see that there are executive management hr professional hr professional executive support and two other executive management employees now i want to give this permission to to the people who belong to san francisco but who are not having the job code as executive management so what i'm trying to do is i want to exclude the people who hold the job code as executive management so how do we exclude them to exclude i go to the pinkish window i select the category as job code 
here is the job code I try finding the executive management all right so this is the one the number was same but let me select the other one as well I say done and now if I update it should take off three people because there were three executive management employees and it should produce a list of the people who are not executive employees all right so I'll close this and I say done now I see that my group is created the next action item is to create the role to do that we go to manage permission roles the way we had a create button back there when we were creating the groups similarly we have a create new button here as well in the roles window i click on that the first thing we have to do is we have to name the role and my name of the role would be something like ma underscore master role the description would be anything master role us i would give so this is the name we have given and here is where we add the permissions i click on the permission button what you see basically here are the two parent nodes one is the user permission node the other one is the administrator permissions the user permissions holds all those permissions which belong to the user the end user basically while the administrator permissions holds all those roles which belong to the consultants or the people responsible for the configurations so that is the difference between the user permissions and the administrator permissions as an example let me pick this manage foundation object types the roles can be assigned till the field level so these are the fields of the manage foundation object and these are the roles so say for example you can go field by field if you want to give the permissions like this i'm giving here the view permission to weave the location group the geo zone location pay range but not the pay grade and the pay component pay component group if i have to go by field wise and if i have to give all the fields if i have to give the permission for all the fields i click on this button so this will give the authorization to view all these fields similarly if i have to give the create permission i click on this insert this and then correction and deletion these are the permissions i would give field by field so these are all the fields similarly if i have to pick something else say for example let me pick manage user okay so these are all the permissions that i would like to give to all those three people who belong to the group we created one thing to notice here is before every role there is a plus button here which means that whenever we assign this role to the group it asks for the target group if we see the other one which we which for which we gave the permission that was not having the plus button or the plus symbol over there but this one has that means this asks for the target group so all these permissions are there there are a lot of permissions you can go through that list of role based permissions from help.sap.com to go through all of these so when i say done the screen gives me the permissions see these are the manage user permissions that we have given 
and uh, these are the permissions that requiring the target group in the manage user we have all these permissions given now we have to grant this role and we grant this role to the group we created we had created something like ma underscore it was us unit one is the one we created and who would be our target population everyone or the target population if the target population is from any of these categories granted user division granted user location any of these or say we click this and i click on the select button now i want to give the target population as employee who belong to us i say us employees and select then i say done and then so this is my granted group and this is my target population i'm giving these roles to these three people who can work on all the employees who belong to this us group if i want to exclude anybody from the granted user from having this permission themselves i can do that by selecting this but right now i'm not going to go into all those complexities let's say done so now that what we have done is we have given the permission to this group know that there are three people in this group to do the manage master data of the target population as employees of the us and this group is an active group now so this is how we create the roles and this is how we assign the roles to the groups now before i turn back to samira i request you to subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed to it yet like our videos comment on our videos with your expectations share our videos you can follow us on the social media platform as well so basically my request is do whatever you can to make us famous and spread peace thank you thank you ali like in any other video you continued your unique style here as well dear viewer the key take aways from this video are number 1 the explanation on role based permissions number 2 where to find deep details from and number 3 the method to create the rbps in the system thank you for watching the video up till the next one stay safe